distressed textured clay finish that's what we're doing today we're gonna take this table and we're gonna distress the heck out of it it's gonna have all kinds of nooks and crannies and layers in it you can take a piece of furniture like this that has been totally sanded down and smooth and you can make it really good and chippy and decrepit with your putty knife this is the secret ingredient right here the clay because CC Caldwell paint isn't just paint with chalk in it oh no there's clay in it too I can see the clay in there right now and that means you can mold it and texture it and scrape it away and put it back on. It's gonna to be totally jacked up and cracked up and chipped out. This right here is gonna be the secondary color under the first color. This goes on first, Traverse City Cherry. Brush on a thin coat of your secondary color and allow this to completely dry overnight. If you begin to paint your top coat on too soon, you might have issues with the two colors blending together when you get to the scraping process. We're going to take the mustard yellow right here and we're going to paint it on in a really thick layer and then you wait for it to dry halfway and then you take the putty knife and you start scraping it. Paint a thick layer of your top coat on in small sections. Keep an eye on it. When you see it become about halfway dry, it will get a clay-like consistency. And then you can begin scraping it with your knife. I've started scraping and there's a whole bunch of layers of good decrepitness on the knife already. And we're gonna just smush it right back onto the table. It's a very sophisticated technique. It's called scraping and smushing. And it's my favorite part. Begin pulling up the paint with your knife and wiping it back onto the surface of your furniture. You can create a lot of texture or just a little bit, depending on how deeply you scrape into the paint. If you take off too much paint, you can easily paint more color back over the top of it. All of the crumbly bits of paint and the varied layers will create a beautiful multi-textured finish when you're done. Don't be afraid to scrape too deeply into the paint. Here I'm showing you how easily it can be fixed by simply painting a thin layer back over the top of it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a rag, this is just an old shirt and some sandpaper, and we're going to knock off all the crummy parts and all the chunks that are kind of loose, and we're going to buff it up, and you're going to see all the variations in the color. When the paint dries, it looks very flat and chalky. That's because there's chalk and clay in the paint, but there is no latex in the paint, which means you can sand it off very easily and bring out the color underneath. You can stick your fingers right in it, see? It's good and it's moisturizing and it's super awesome, excellent wax. This is the aging dust right here. You want to sprinkle it on before all the wax dries. All you do is you just sprinkle it on and then it just sits in there and then it sticks in there and it looks really good. Apply a light coat of wax in small sections so you can blend in the aging dust before the wax dries. Sprinkle the aging dust into all the nooks and crannies that you created with your putty knife. After finishing one section, repeat the process and move on to the next one. Keep in mind that a little bit of wax goes a long way. A thin coat will dry overnight and buff up to a beautiful shine. If you'd like more details on how to create the textured clay finish, visit my blog for the extended tutorial. Here's the table right here, it's all finished. And if you want to find out where to get CC Caldwell paint in your area, click the link down below. You can take a class and learn how to do something like this in person with me at my store or with the CC Caldwell retailer in your area. I put together a kit with everything you need to make this beautiful frame using the textured clay technique. Visit the link below to go to my online store and to enter my paint class in a box giveaway. I sell all kinds of crafty kits as well as CC Caldwell paint.
want to see more, be sure and check out the videos that are playing right over there in those boxes. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every week. DIY, repurposed, recycling, crafting. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.